Osvaldo Queixinho and Matheus Gabriel, who had a very impressive win over Johnny Gripo, one of the, the favorites in the feather division. And, and Queixinho, an amazing stimulant. Yes. The, his match with submission, only, only submission so far on the finals day. But you know what, man? It's still been super exciting. Wow. You know, like, I, I can be very excited. I, I can watch beautiful transitions and like, be like, like all that. day. All day, man. All day. I mean, Kishima, and I'm such a big fan of him, like the way that he's fighting, the way that he's improving. It's like, I love the way that he, the offensive way that he fights. It's not only for the points, he attacks, he likes for the submission. You see, you know? and, and, yeah. Here we go, look at that. Yeah, wow. Very look at the triangle. And he's a well finish. defended, well defended. Well defended by Mateus. To be honest, this position, he's not very comfortable for Kishima, you know, while this feet across because you, you guys can always end up on top of the inverted mountain. I'm gonna go for the sweep. A double guard pull and the refs calling stalling on both competitors. And yeah. It's been happening a lot. I will say this man, I was very impressed with Mateus Gabriel's performance against Johnny. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled off a win against Keishin as well. That would be the second upset he pulls off today, but he's totally capable of doing it. I would like to take advantage, you know, like my, my kids, Julian and Oliver, they are on the other side uh, of, uh, of the screen watching live on the floor grappling. So Julian, Oliver, I miss you guys a lot. I love you. So good to see you guys following the BJJ scenario here. And I can't wait to see you give, give you a big hug. Love you guys. Well, since we're at it, I'll give a shout out to my kids too. They're not watching. <laughs> but Tina and Cleo, love you girls. Yeah, That's, you can you, you can love the, the traveling life. You can love the jiu-jitsu life, but there's nothing like what you feel for your kids, bro. That's, That's a special unique, kind right? of love, man. You can't explain it. You only you know when you have one, and, and it only go it only grows. You know, it, never, and, uh, it, it changes in the sense it gets bigger and bigger every day. So, shout out to all the parents of the world. Both uh, Mateus Gabriel and Osvaldo Queixinho with two negatives each. This is, I hope this doesn't end in a DQ because I'm really excited about what the, the potential of this match is. It doesn't seem like any of these guys wants to come up. Yeah. Osvaldo quick with that guard pull, close. pull again and let's see if one of them takes the initiative because uh, yeah it's Kishin so dangerous there though he's stiff leg there to stop the bolo shuts him off looks I like he might come up he doesn't want to come up though I think the differential for, for Kishin that the danger of the submission the yeah. constant you know yeah and, and, and it's and he's such a finisher though like he attacks from literally every position he's in he's dangerous like I've seen Kishin pull off wrist locks, loop chokes, it's a triangles, so arm bars, it's steel my locks, you name it. Like he, the guy does everything. And he's good on top and the bottom equally. Yeah. And very good in strategy. So this is their third, third penalty. penalty. Now, man, seven minutes to go pretty and much. I really hope that these guys are not DQ. I hope not. But I don't I think they will. If I know Kishin, he'll, yeah. he'll put, but he'll rather make the fight happen. But at the same time, props to the IBJJF reps for doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, that makes the fight real happen. Yeah. Double guard pull. It immediately look at the watches, like they're timing this. This could be the last one. Like one of them's got to come up. But. 
Matils, he gave uh, Keishin the advantage for coming up. But Matils has the foot, so he might score that advantage back from that footlock if he can get tight enough on it. Doesn't look like he's going to try. You see Matils got just wink to his corner, Lucas Lecce, saying, I got this. Osvaldo has a true advantage now. He's winning by one advantage, which is on this level, yes. it's a very big lead. Yes, but the problem is if he's he on can't top, pass, right? yes. yeah. so it's almost like he's losing in a way. Assuming Mateus Gabriel has, yeah, he peels off the delay. Really go. What? Well, probably, you know the answer, but like I want everyone who's watching to understand why Keishin gave that top position away. It's because he, if he goes down without advantages, he yes. can still sweep back and still win by one advantage in the future, yes. right? Yes. He will have that. He, he, he didn't want to be stuck. Okay, so my, this is my next question. You already know you know the answer, but why did he not do that with 20 seconds left? Oh, because that would be hard to do. Too back. risky. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you see how the time changes the if dynamic they, if, of, of exactly. what's going on. Like, it changes it dramatically. And if you're going to be a good competitor, you need to understand these things. And this, that's what makes the whole difference. Lately, is the, the strategy and timing of the strategy that yeah. makes the whole difference lately, especially the few, few less fights happening right now. And it's, this, is, this is a common art. Strategy is important. A lot of people don't like strategy. It's like, you don't, do you not like chess? Like, what, what's wrong with What's wrong with being intelligent? What's but, wrong with using your intelligence to fight? Like, every sport does exist. Strategy is a good thing, and yeah. you, you should learn it. If you're, mm -hmm. if you're struggling with it, that's, that's, that's an obstacle you have to overcome. Blame on the rules, but not yeah. on the athlete. Exactly. You can't blame the athletes. They're just following what the uh, protocol. They're doing what they got to do to win. Matil's up by two. Good but and bold defense there by Osvaldo, but Matil still has, he still has him. Yeah, Osvaldo just shuts him up really well. That's the thing now. Um, Kishin is on is losing by two points, but he has one advantage ahead, right? Yeah. So he's playing on his he's on his world right now. Yes. There's four minutes to go. Okay, but if he keeps the active guard, yeah, you know, whoever swoops so less will win. is smart enough to wait now. And now and they, and now what I wouldn't be surprised if Matheus Gabriel did is give away the sweep, much like Kishino did. Exactly. I mean, it, it all depends on how close we get to the end of the fight. I think at this point, you know, Matheus Gabriel has proved that he has a very good balance, though. Gianni could not get this guy to move. Can Keishinho do it? The, the, the strategy game that has been played so far is that I need to sweep the person with enough time that I can survive on top. Yes. You exactly. know, if you can handle 30 seconds, sweep within 30 seconds. If you can handle one minute, and sweep within one minute. The sooner you start your sweep, the more time you have to sweep. Right. But then if you, ha if you do it too soon, you're going to be on top. Too soon, and you're going to end up on the bottom. And that's it kills your whole strategy. Yes. So it's very mind game. So exactly. If, so if you're wondering why the lightweight divisions are like this and why it turns into such a, a dynamic fight towards the end, that's why. Yeah. The stakes are higher. Every second goes by. And that's when I, when I mentioned the previous fight. It all depends on how so the how many penalties we have because now we have three penalties each and the next punishment will be disqualification for both of them yes. so they what's happening to. they need to be active they have to be active, have to be active. so yeah. it's about timing being active and the time of, on the eyes of the judge and man whoever has enough time to sweep and keep on top that's going to be the differential okay at the moment he has to be active at the same time wait a little bit for applying the sweep so he's fighting out to have a position so he can get the sweep he cannot sweep right now. He needs no. to fight for yes. the grips, get the adjustments. I, okay, the so if you're Kishin, how long would you wait before you sweat? Because I know what I would do. I'm just wondering what would, what would you I would you be active, 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 making bees. And then I'll, within about one minute, I'll start I pushing was just hard. I was going to say one minute. Yeah. Yeah, like one minute, pull the trigger. There's Omo Plata there. 
but ideally sweep into a good position too. I think that's what gave Mikey Mutsumese that advantage. Oh, there we go. Can he? He, he decided to switch gears sooner. Now. But Matheus Gabriel has amazing balance, man. Like, I'm so impressed with his ability to just stay on top consistently so, and, and, and not get put off. Here we go. Me, Min Keishin already here, I would say, okay, he has a good balance. He's going to be saying no all the time because if, he, if Keishin carries on this game, trying to sweep straight away, it's not going to work anymore. He tried, it didn't work. Now he has to get to the position that this sweep will be available. Not just trying to sweep, you need to fake. Yes. If you go straight to the sweep, he's just going to say no, no, no. Yeah. And it's two minutes to go. But so, see, for example, now he's, a, he's not a bad position for Kishin, but he no. needs to kind of wrap him on. But, bro, like, uh, uh, Matos just doesn't move. He's not moving. That's the problem. <laughs> so solid. That's man. why I would be worried already. Yeah. I would be. <laughs> yeah. But, like, okay, now Kishin got it. Can he finish? But they're close to out of bounds. So this could be bad for Kishin, because even if he finish, it might be a You need to pull him only. back. You need to walk back. Come back, come back. Yeah. Well. Is this, is it? Okay, carry on to fight the middle. Good. Advantage for Kishi, one of the judges has given, but... Nothing. So nothing. we're back to the same place. All right, so Let's me being Kishi now, it's, bro, time to sweep him. Yes, you got to Get turn, a grip, yeah, absolutely. position, and sweep Now him. is the time. Everything, 100%. But, like, okay, so this game we've been describing, we've been talking about this because it's happening all the time in the yeah. light divisions, right? Like, let's sweep at the very end. But that doesn't seem to work too well with Matheus Gabriel because the guys aren't moving him. He had Gianni He's grip. He, he was in Gianni's grip of guard for like eight, nine minutes straight, and Gianni couldn't move him. And now we have Keishin, another top-level competitor, and it might be another upset. So the, the catch here is, is Keishin going to divert the attention for the sweep he wants, or is he going to go straight to the point? Because if he goes straight to the point, he's not going to get it. Yes. On this level of jiu-jitsu, if you go straight to the point, you will be always being shut down. Yeah. You need to divert. You need to fake. You need to make the guy think, I want something. So he says no, and then no become my yes. That's the catch. And you have one minute to go, and there's no grips, and Keishin has to wrap himself around. There we go. That's a big chance. A minute left. Keishin. On his world this, as well. Yeah, this 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 is his chance. He's gonna go for the foot lock. No. Now it's everything for the He's gonna. Wow. wow. Can he wow. take that back? He needs it's the points though. 34 seconds. Bro, bro. Now he has a very good agreement. He put he, if he put his knees on the floor for three seconds, that's it. But, but is he, he going he to? He needs to get on top. He needs 25 seconds to get Matos down. Or a it's submission. Clock choke. It's a clock choke. Wow. It's Even a clock better. choke. Can it's he a get clock it? choke. It's a clock Can choke. Can he get it? Is he going to get it? Is he going to end up with the sweep or not? Oh, oh. He's going for the submission. Wow. Oh, escape. Wow. It's 12 seconds to and go. What a legend. I, and, okay, I'm a Matos Gabriel fan from now on, man. Oh what a my performance. God. What Unbelievable. A this guy, wow, wow. impressive, I'm, impressive. I'm, I'm a, a Matheus Gabriel fan for, for, for life, man. Impressive. Like, what? Dude, what was that? Impressive. You can't move that kid. But hands down to Keishin to go 100% fully for the, for the submission. submission. Because like, that took a lot of balls. Yes. Because it took small. Yeah, take small because I, I mean, honestly, I, don't, I wouldn't I, have I, gone. I would have, I would have gone for the takedown. Me too. Yeah. I would go for the taking the back. He over. was so cool. He's such a finisher, man. He is. He's That's what I'm a big finisher. fan. Yeah. Dude. Jana, what an amazing! That's today we have a winner, but they both champs. Absolutely, beautiful performance. I'm very happy for uh, Mateus Gabriel and Osvaldo, man. That clock exactly choke was fire. I can't believe. I actually exactly thought he had it because he was the way, way, like way in there for a good like five, six seconds at least. It's just too risky because I think maybe if he had it, had it, he would pass out. But, 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 but the courage, right? Okay. Yeah. She to go for that. Yeah, he's a finisher. Advancing to the final, representing Czech man, Mateos Gabriel.